Louis Nicolas Robet was born on December 2, 1761 in Paris, France to aging parents. As a child, he was physically frail and self-conscious, but studious and ambitious. From 1767 to 1776, he attended the School of Religious Order of the Minimus in Paris and received an excellent education with a strong focus on science and mathematics. He served in the military for a few years and rose to the rank of Sergeant Major. He married Charlotte Rotier on November 11, 1794 in a civil ceremony because of the post-revolution decree that marriage be a simple civil contract certified by a municipal officer. In 1791, Robet became clerk of the Dedou family's renowned Paris publishing house, reporting to saint le jour Dedou. Later, he took over as the inspector of personnel and technician inventor at the Pierre-Francois Dedou paper factory in corbeil essou near Paris. Robet and Dedou grew impatient with problems of handling 300 quarreling workers, so they decided to look for a mechanical solution to improve upon the manual labor of the papermaking process. Robet was an inventor. After many trials and errors and with the help of Dedou's financial resources, Robet successfully built a small prototype model in 1797, characterized by an endless 340 centimeter long and 64 centimeter wide moving wire that could receive a continuous flow of stock and deliver a continuous sheet of wet paper to a pair of squeeze rolls. The continuous strip of wet paper came off the squeeze rolls and was manually hung over a series of cables or bars for drying. At Dedou's insistence on September 9, 1798, Robet applied for a patent titled A General Account of a Machine for Making Paper of an Indeterminate Length. He addressed the patent application letter to the Minister of Interior, Francois de Nichotou, with the note, it was my dream to simplify the operation of making paper by forming it with infinite less expense and in making sheets of extraordinary length without the help of any worker. A patent was granted by the French government on January 18, 1799, for which Robet paid 8,000 francs. Robet and Dedou quarreled over the ownership of the invention. Robet eventually sold both the patent and the prototype machine to Dedou for 25,000 francs. Dedou wanted to develop and patent the machine in England away from the distraction of the French Revolution. In March of 1801, after demonstrating the continuous rolls of paper from Essun, a deal was struck with brothers Seeley and Henry Ford Rainier, who ran a leading stationery house in London. After six years and approximately 60,000 British pounds of development costs, the Ford Rainiers were awarded new patents and the Fordrenier paper machine was born. Thus, Robet's concept became the blueprint of the most widely used Fordrenier paper machines. His invention was the most significant invention in more than 2,000 years of papermaking history. In 1783, Robet the inventor launched the first hydrogen balloon in Paris with his brother and Jacques Charles, a future professor of physics at the university in Paris. The balloon flew northwards for 45 minutes, pursued by chasers on horseback, and landed 21 kilometers away in the village of Gonay, where the terrified local peasants destroyed it with pitchforks. That same year, Robet and Charles ascended in a gondola carried by the same kind of balloon to a height of 1,800 feet, while half of Paris looked on. Benjamin Franklin is also reported to have witnessed this event. Robet could not take advantage of his invention. In 1812, in poor health, having both sold and lost control of his invention and the patent, Robet retired from papermaking. He moved to vermelay ertlewa and opened a small school, Forbu St. Thibault, and continued to teach in his school. In 1912, the village erected and dedicated a monument to Robet. Louis-Nicolas Robet died on August 8, 1828 in Vernolet, France.